All right, so welcome back to Genshin Impact. Uh, we they've currently added in Ganyu's little story, uh, so we're gonna check that out. Um, I'm actually not interested in pulling for Ganyu at all, uh, just because she's a bow user, and I'm not a big fan of bow users. And I also want to stockpile some Primo gems for upcoming characters. Um, the one thing I'm a little annoyed about though is this Lost Riches event has bugged out on me, and I will not be able to finish it. So, and even though I have enough coins to buy one of these, i not allowed to buy one because you need to explore Treasure Area 14 and Treasure Area 10 has bugged on me and I can't complete that area so it won't let me do the further areas. So, a little annoying, but we'll see if, I don't know, they hotfix or fix something before the end of the event. I'm not optimistic about it, but that's alright. One second here. That area, so it won't let me do. Okay. Um. Anyways, uh, we are going to. I think they actually added in a quick little quest too to get the Jade Chamber back potentially. So I want to just go to Liu because I haven't actually been there since they've patched this stuff. So we'll see. So I'm wondering if there is a quest somewhere here. Hmm, it's not looking like it though. I may have to look it up to see if there's a quest to restore the Jade Chamber. But I figured there would be. But it's not looking like it at the moment. But I did already unlock Ganyu's quest, so... Nothing here. Hmm. Alright, so nothing with this guy. And I doubt there's anything over here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, either way, it doesn't matter. Let's go do Ganyu's quest. Oh man, we were just there. <laughs> All right. And I did get Albedo, which I was pretty happy about. Um, and I'm gonna forever have an exclamation mark on my little character portrait there in the corner, because that's a constellation for Bennett, and I do not want that constellation for him. It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chising secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh. You're just... Aren't you Ningguang's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen Miss Ganyu Traveler? It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Qixing. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Uh, why does she go to Joyun Karst? Ah, even though the Qixing have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Julian Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now, but she's disappeared without a trace. Is that so? Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuehai Pavilion saying, There is still so much to do. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack off. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? 
<sighs> it's because of this absurd workload of hers. <sighs> when we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. <sighs> we couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. Oh wow, the Adeptus lineage is truly remarkable. Speaking of Juyun Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course, we've been there lots of times. Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Julian Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. Seems like I'm the only one who can do it, indeed. Ah, oh. ah, oh, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise, oh. No, perhaps we should go to Lady Ningguang first and bring up our overtime pay again. Overtime pay. <laughs> so it looks like Ganyu's a bit of a workaholic. All right. So Ganyu left to visit Cloud Retainer. Uh, so we've got to go up there. We should hurry up. Paimon hopes we can find her there. Mm-hmm. This is kind of a interesting spot to teleport to. There we go. So yeah, I've been kind of running this team for a little bit. I mean, my Albedo is not really at the point where he's kind of doing what he needs to do or what he's capable of doing. But that's just because I haven't really leveled up his artifacts or anything yet. Or much of his talents, really. I've been kind of just working a little bit on... Yeah, I've got this one up to six, which is kind of the important one. But well, I guess I could do it again. Hmm. Yeah. We will. There we go. I need to do that for the battle pass anyway. I had to spend more money, I think. Yeah, so there we go. Which I'm almost done with the battle pass, and I've got still got like 18 days left, so... expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Yuahai Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. You've left the human world? Huh? You don't want to be the Chi-Sing secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Liyue, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. <sighs> I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. Uh, I believe there's a, been a huge misunderstanding. All these lazy people want her to keep doing the work. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Cloud Retainer? We're terribly sorry, we just... <laughs> One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Wow! Adept, I really are impressive. Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. 
It looks like you get along quite well. Chat about the old times? <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. I'm a bit curious, indeed. Ooh, Paimon wants to hear it! Uh... <laughs> Little Ganyu loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. <laughs> the day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. Retainer? Uh, forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Hmm. I think you upset Ganyu. Ah. Oh, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive. Be that so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu... Most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Jueyun Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. One noticed her loneliness, and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But, just then, she said thus. Liyue Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Liyue, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone. She will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her Adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Aozong right now, preparing for the trial. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then! Alright, so, poor Ganyu. A little lonely. Hmm. Alright, so we've got to go over there. Why did you come here? Um, I'd like to try this Adeptus training. 
Is that so? You really are interested in the ways of Adepti. This trial was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an Adeptus again. The training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Is it difficult? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. I've, I've just kind of noticed she's got a bell on her, so <laughs> she really is kind of like a goat. Oh. Uh... That's one. Two. Where's the other one? Uh, I think I have to fly to that one. Oh, wait. There's a bunch we have to do. Oh, this is kind of annoying, actually. we'll just shoot it from up here, I guess. I don't know if we'll make this in time. We have to hit 12 of them. There's a lot of gliding around. It does feel like something Cloud Retainer would come up with. Okay. Oh, we missed. He missed again. Okay, there we go. That's one. We can hit that from here. Okay, so where do we go now? Uh, cool. This is kind of cool. It's just we got to go a little faster, I think. What? How did I miss that? That was a perfect shot. Nope. There we go. I'm kind of tempted to just land on that platform. If we can. And just hit it point blank. Oh, it's kind of jittery though. Alright, we only have three more to hit, so I think we're okay on time. And I think there's two right here anyway. Or no, there's three of them. Yeah, so we're good. No problemo. We've completed the task. What do you think? Uh being an adeptus is or perhaps I'd make a good adeptus. I agree. You possess many qualities similar to those of Adepti, despite having none of their blood. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the first trial. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? Um... Is Mountain Shaper next? No. The only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? Conqueror of Demons. Huh. So it's Shaper. That cold-hearted loner? How come he's prepared a trial for you? Hmm, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting, Shao. I found him unapproachable at first, too. But I believe that being able to face him is an important part of my homecoming. He's already waiting for me. Come along if you're interested. Of course we are! Let's go! I'm... I'm interested. He's prepared a... Alrighty. So, we've got to go to Nantianmen? Oh, so that's just right here anyway. We can just glide there. I believe Shao is probably going to be one of the next two characters that they're going to release, so... Or at least that's what's rumored, anyway. 
Oh, and I did get the wings from Dragon Spine too. You can show them off on Albedo here. See, there they are. Not bad. I like them. You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Xiao is such a strict teacher. You're neither an adeptus nor a human. Always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. Hmm. Xiao might be a good... Mm, wait. It seems that Xiao understands Ganyu quite well. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. I'm ready. Okay, so we have to complete Xiao's trial. Xiao's kind of mean. I don't know, I was kind of interested in maybe trying to pull for him, but now I'm not so sure. Right. Burst forth. The trial's begun! So, Ganyu's kind of interesting in the fact that she has a double charge shot. You don't actually have to aim it all that well either. Which is interesting, I guess. I should probably be using my other characters, though. This isn't going that fast. Oh no, that thing's attacking! No! Adventure time! Quake! Burst forth! Time for retribution! Should be more enemies. Oh, there they are. This is order! Actually, I should probably do this. Coming and then. Me. Feel this. this ancient power! Uh, I keep not hitting five. There we go. I don't know how this ability works, though, but. Now my Deluke has gotten relatively strong, I think. Rise, order guide you. Come into be. Oh, there must be a mage around somewhere. Yep. Or no, it's just these little bubble dudes. Uh, I should be using Ganyu. Um... I will have order. Retribution. I wonder if we'll get like a stronger enemy here at the end. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe. This witness my great undertaking. Rise. No touching. I'm not a huge fan of her playstyle though, because it's it's all about charge shots to get damage with her. Alright. 
What is left? We're way behind schedule. Do you still have an enemy left? I don't see it. Oh, wait. Next on the agenda. Healthy body, healthy mind. I don't see any enemies. Did this bug out on me? Huh. I think Next it might be in the, the ground. Odd. Or right here, maybe? I have no idea. Huh. I think there's something here. Oh, there. Wait, no. I'm so confused. I think there's something in the ground here. We may have to come back and do this again. I wonder how that happened. Maybe we can try and do something wonky here. No, we're gonna have to teleport out of here and come back. That's unfortunate. Alright. Yeah, 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 I know we failed. It's fine. That was going pretty well until whatever that enemy was bugged out there. Well, hopefully this time will go a little better. Oh, look, our pillar's still there. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, that was... <laughs> I didn't think there was floor beneath me. Alright, that's alright. No, we're not going to mess with those guys either. That was kind of silly. I thought that I would have plummeted all the way down here, so I wasn't really expecting to hit the ground. Alright, let's try this again. I can probably just skip. No, no skipping. You're half an hour late. Nope, no skipping at all. I still haven't abandoned the... I'm sorry. I don't need your... Challenge. You're neither in a... Instead of... I... I have nothing to hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The body, the trial... Yes. All right, let's do this. It's too bad that it doesn't actually freeze the enemies, though. Rise! Burst forth! I need to get, um... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Next on the agenda... Oh, what? Wrath of the Gods? I don't even know what happened there, but something. I got some sort of achievement. Access denied. Live. Rise. Burn. I'm going in. All right, that one's gone. Hey. I will have order. Rise. Moments of birth. I mm, guess we could use Ganyu to kill the little last little little thingies there. I think it was one of these things that bugged out on us. Not doing as well this time as we did the first time, but Next that's all right. Crumble. This is order. Retribution. Okay, so now we just have the little flower things to kill now. Let's let them teleport in. 
Do that, and then that, and then try to do another little flower, and then we'll burn them all, and then we'll use the loot, and hopefully kill most of them. I will have order. Rise. Come into be. Witness my great undertaking. All right, just this one left. There we go. We won that time. Excellent. All right, let's go talk to Shao. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. That lone wolf is truly admirable. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> have to do what? Uh, another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here, there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Hmm. Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis! I've finally come upon the Adepti! Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O oh Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, so it's a pilgrim! <laughs> I can see why Xiao finds his type troublesome. He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted, that uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who pose as an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? He just can't take criticism. Eh, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real Adeptus or not, you're useless. I'm leaving. Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh... It's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an Adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... Hmm. <sighs> that maybe you're better off sticking to your human side? But... I'm unwelcome in Leoa Harbor. As an Adeptus, I... Can you believe a human like me just this once? It's true! Just believe us! Uh... Alright. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction. Let's go! Well, we completed the first part of that quest. Um, so now we have to go to Liu Harbor and... Uh, let's see, let's see this. Okay. So, let's go here. And help Ganyu get back into Liu Harbor, I guess. <laughs> it's 
It's kind of weird because the weapon I'm using on Albedo is just this like three star weapon, which I should upgrade it a little more. But apparently it's one of the better weapons you can give him, even though it's only a three star. Um, I need these things, which actually I can get today. No, I can't. Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. All right. Have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right. Where do you want to go first then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. All right. A walk in the port. Let's see. We'll teleport there. I'm actually almost adventure rank 53. I'm getting there. Gets struck by lightning. So I've never been struck by lightning before. Interesting. Okay. I'll take the free five primo gems. Save this money or invest it. And by next week, I'll have max my reputation in Mondstadt as well. So I'll be done with Mondstadt and Liu reputations. <sighs> the sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you didn't leave Lirith for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Huh, that's true. Ganyu seem to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. It put me in a certain mood, similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it little Miss Ganyu? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. This old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. <laughs> little Miss Ganyu. Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tien. He is... That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo, after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tien is a member of the Leo Chising. The Tianshu. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Ningguang? Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. Hmm, I'm trying to remember if I've ever messed with him. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me little Miss Ganyu. Oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing's secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries... Oh... I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huixin. She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yes, she works at Yuahai Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, 
She's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi-Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? <laughs> I'm afraid Ganyu didn't even notice. Let's move them to UAI Pavilion. Yeah, she's supposed to be a bit of a workaholic, so... All right, let's go to the pavilion, which means we'll just teleport up here and glide down, because that's the fastest way to get there. At least, the fastest way I've figured out. Because otherwise you've got to climb all the way up from that other teleport point. Huh, Miss Ganyu, it's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing his status as a member of the Chi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yuahai Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. Hmm. That's a thousand years of work experience for you. All right. Let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Ms. Ganyu. Hmm... Um... Oh, right. So you want them to expose each other. Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Folai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. All right, so we've got to get these two rival businesses to basically, I don't know, sell each other out, which they're likely to do it because they're rivals. All right, let's see. And it looks like Ganyu is back to work and among the humans again. <laughs> Wait, who are we supposed to talk to? Oh, I guess they're down here. No, yes. Yes, they are down here. Aha! We meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion. <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yuahai Pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Second Life? Ugh. That rascal Dongsheng. He's stealing all of my customers. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. Ha ha ha! Hmm. Tax records? <laughs> Thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. 
If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course. Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Hmm, is that how competitors behave? Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Hmm, I don't know if we should be showing him his ta the other company's tax records, though. Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Baishin. You can stay in Liyua Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. Hmm. I thought we were trying to go going after both of the companies, but I guess we're only going after one right now. Yeah, after trialing Ganyu there a little bit, I'm not sure that she's actually a character I want. I, I don't know, it's just bow users. They're a little weird to use. Especially with Ganyu, if you want to build her DPS, you've got to build her like the charge shot way. So, and I don't know. I know she's pretty good in the fact that she does a lot of damage. But I just don't like that playstyle. So, and I'm sure there's going to be other characters that come that are going to do a lot of damage too. So, you just gotta, you know, not have that fear of missing out. <laughs> ah, welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? <laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. Uh, but I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> Chingsa really is full of lonely old people. Hey, I heard that, flying one. Uh, fine, I'm sorry. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the UI Pavilion, right? Why would the Chising care about an old man like me? Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. Hmm. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Well, of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here. At Fanmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. 
Uh, I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Since you need that invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. So that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then. I need to get back to work. Take back the warehouse, find the invoice. Time for us to show our stuff in a fight. I wonder if I'll get to use Wait, Ganyu again. I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, uh, over there. Oh, Paimon season two. <gasps> it's one of the Fatui. What? What are they doing here? They must be plotting something against Liyue Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Shouldn't we observe him for a while first? Ever since Osail attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liyue has reached rock bottom. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. You need not worry. Besides, I can already feel their malicious intentions. Consider it my intuition as the secretary of the Chising. And what are we waiting for? Let's go teach him a lesson. Yes, bad people are bad. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let's go teach that Fatui a lesson. Is it just the one? Hmm. All right. But no, um, Ganyu in our team for it. I will have order. Oh no, he actually put up his uh, frost barrier. Oh well. Witness my great undertaking. Live. Not an issue at all. All right, looks like we won. <laughs> oh, you scoundrels! I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan. No? Plan? What plan? We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. If you don't spill whatever you're scheming against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. Hmm. Quick, tell us everything. I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsa village? Fine. If you really want to know, then... Well, I was about to. About to... what? Pick berries over there. Um... I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. It's not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinksa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fanmu Carpenter's warehouse? Fanmu Carpenter's warehouse? Where's that? I swear, I only came here to pick berries, that's all. So it wasn't the Fatui who took over Master Lu's warehouse after all. So we might have blamed him for nothing. I also feel that he's telling the truth. Uh, um, whoopsie! I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. Our, uh, our exchange only represents my personal views. If you wish it so, you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Exchange? This woman, she's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us for Tui. Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may try to solve this problem with force once again. Paimon's in! D darn you. How can you wear that solemn face while bullying me like this? What's your choice then? I'll get back to my berries. Uh, good choice. Oh, come on. Not all the Fatui can be bad. What a bittersweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. 
My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. No worries. It's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice, after all. Yes. Yes, it is. So that we can finish that investigation. And that uh, Ganyu will get back to work. And, yeah. Among the humans again. Although I think she's already kind of not doubting herself anymore that she belongs among the humans. So this is the warehouse. Seems like those troublemakers were nothing more than a future. Let's show them what we got. Teamwork is trim. Time for retribution. Oh, these hilly trolls actually have a lot of health though. Help if I could actually hit them though. <laughs> Crumble. Get out of here. This order guide you. I really gotta get work on Albedo a bit though. Like I can definitely get his ability hitting a lot harder than it currently is. But I just don't have the resin to work on it yet. And I've been working a lot on Diluc recently, so and he's getting a lot better, even though he's still not nearly as good as my um, catching. But I do find him fun to use. I wonder if it's this guy we launched over here. Yep, there he is. There we go. Oh no, there's more. All right, let's get back up there. That's the only problem with the Luke's attack, is it like launches everybody like super far away. Moment of birth. Order guide you. Everybody stand back. But yeah, like I've gotten my catching. She's been hitting with like her attacks like over 10,000. So she's she's definitely up there in strength. Let's look around for the invoice. This one is an invoice. And she attacks a lot faster than the Luke, so. Well, looks like we got our evidence that we wanted. So let's head back to Liu Harbor. Actually, uh, one of the more involved quests I got. Well, I don't know. Usually the story quests are usually three, you know, decent sized missions. Although one of them I remember being pretty short. I think Mona's wasn't very long. And someone else's made it. Zhang Li's was no, actually, I really like Zhang Li's with the God of Salt. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Ah, oh, Ms. Ganyu, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. I promise to help you, and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and have a nice chat with the owner? Okay. Oh, back to Second Life, which is... Oh. Actually, we haven't even been to Second Life yet. We went to the other shop and got them to, like, tattle on their business. Uh, the other business. Nope, we want to talk about your tax records. Isn't it Huixin from the Yuahai Pavilion? I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? 
Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Uh, no. No. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. Hmm. Have you got no shame? Haven't I made myself clear? Mr. Dongsheng, you've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. What? P proven guilty? H how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Time for the finishing blow! Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... it... it's an invoice from Fanmu Carpenters. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Boalai's aid. <sighs> Boalai? That imp from Wanyo Boutique? So he told on me behind my back. Hmm. He's got his own share of dirty laundry. Oh? Mr. Dongsheng, I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? <laughs> oh, man. Ganyi's ruthless. I don't think you'll need my guidance for what comes next. Oh, yes, thank you, Ms. Ganyu. I can take it from here. <laughs> That's good. Oh, I must say, you're truly impressive, Ms. Ganyu. Your enemy knows you best. To think, you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully. <laughs> it's actually one of your father's, the Tianshu's, old tricks. I just took some inspiration from it. M uh, my father? Pitting your opponent against their enemies and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position that's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qixing secure for so many years. I figured that as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. So, I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. <sighs> I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. I'm really grateful, Ms. Ganyu. <laughs> You're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Thank you. Ganyu solved both Hoishin's work and family problems. Two birds with one stone. Oh, you've helped me so much. You must... You must allow me to repay your kindness. Ah, uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal. Hmm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate your help. All right, come on, Ganyu. Just say yes. Let's eat. <laughs> Paimon, don't forget your manners. Oh, come on. It's just a meal. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huixin. <laughs> Actually, I've already booked Senor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. Hmm. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. Alrighty. So we'll see Ganyu's getting appreciated by the humans, even though she thought that they didn't want her around. Alright, so let's go and have a meal together. I'm assuming this is probably the last part of uh, Ganyu's quest. Let's double check. Usually the Primo gem's on the last part. Yep. I don't think we've ever been in here. Or at least I don't remember. I don't remember be- Ah, uh, maybe. Hmm. Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. And as for the two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. Sure! That's so kind of you, Huixin. You went to great lengths to organize this. <laughs> Truth be told, 
old, apart from thanking you for all the help. There's something I'd like to tell you. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Ganyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. However, in reality, working at the Yuhai Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, I became a mother, too. Huh? So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! <sighs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion, too. At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. So, what made you change your mind? <sighs> the fact that she'll have you, Ms. Ganyu, as her senior colleague. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. <laughs> It'd be such a beautiful moment. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20-plus years, too. Huishin, I... I never thought that I meant so much to you. <laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes it's gone through. The stories of its people. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Huishin. You don't know how important those words are to me. You've made me realize that I share another connection with the people of Leo I Harbor. Apart from my contract with Rex Lapis, they rely on me, accept me, and long for me to bear witness to their stories. Oh, of course. You're irreplaceable to us. <laughs> That's right. That's why I can't disappoint you. Hooray! Ganyu's finally cheered up! Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. I won't let you down. I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the Chi Sing secretary. <laughs> you haven't been fired. It's a misunderstanding. Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. Uh, we're leaving already? Paimon's still hungry. <laughs> if anything, what's happened is everybody's like overworked and they're really wishing Ganyu had come back sooner. Alright, let's get out of here. And let's go tell them the good news that they no longer have to work as hard as they have been. And still not keeping up with all of the work Ganyu does. So I'm wondering if this is like we have to complete Ganyu's quest line to unlock the Jade Chamber quest line. Well, it's not really a quest line, it's just a world quest, I think. Are you okay? Did you fall asleep standing up? Look! Look who's back! You even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable replacement for me after all. Not at all! We just... We've been working for too long. If we didn't take a break... 
We wouldn't have survived long enough to see you again, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu, we've missed you. <laughs> That's so kind of you all. Given we've only met once. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. To us, you're like an adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. Forget all our envious complaints from before. Just free us from this strenuous work, please. All right. All right, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started and those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're saved. <laughs> uh, yes. There's one more thing. I'd like to earnestly thank you, Traveler. If it weren't for your companionship, I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. It's good that you pulled yourself together. <laughs> to think that I'd gained a human friend outside of work. It makes me happier than I could have imagined. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I accompanied you on one of your trips? Sure, but are you ever done with work on you? Hmm. Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? <laughs> She's quite the workaholic. All right, and that's the end of uh, Act 1 for her quest. Again, no character has gotten more than one act, so, um... Oops. Uh, let's see here. Um... I'm not seeing a quest for the Jade Chamber, though. Great mansions. Let me just take a quick peek, see if I can find something real quick. Um... Okay, so I think we need to go over here. And there is a quest giver somewhere. I think. So you have to complete Ganyu's story. Oh, there it is. Why isn't why wasn't it showing up on the map? Odd. So, what are you doing over here? Uh, I was currently thinking about how to clear up the fragments of the jade chamber currently floating on the surface. You recall it was completely destroyed when it crashed, right? Those fragments ended up floating on the ocean with some larger pieces even blocking the path of passing ships. Um, the Ministry of Civil Affairs organized a cleanup which got rid of all of the larger pieces, but as for those smaller bits of flotsam, cleared them out one day and more come floating in the next. While they're not that much of a problem, the ministry stance is that we should clean them all up the same. I'm currently thinking about how this can be done. Our sergeant said that it would. I could look for some people to help out, but who would want to do this job anyway? I mean, um, unless you, well, are you willing to help me up with the cleanup? You might be able to keep up some of the useful items you pick up. Useful items such as? Honestly, I don't know myself, but given that this is the Jade Chamber, I'm sure something eye-catching will turn up. Alright, so let's see. This is Fishing for Jade. This is the first quest, um, so let's navigate to that. Oh, it's just right, oh, literally right here. All right, that seems simple enough. I should probably be using, like, Beto in our group because she gets um, less stamina while swimming, or less stamina consumption. There's more over there, too. Alright. I just want to get the Jade Chamber back, because that was kind of a neat area. And I'm curious if this quest actually does that. We'll find out shortly, though. Yeah, what we'll do, though, is we will change our party setup to throw in... Her. All right, let's go. Because of her passive. Probably not needed, but doesn't matter. Oh, 
I love how they all have, like, diving animations, too, even though, like, swimming is not really much of a thing in this game. I mean, it exists, but... I should change her wings. Yeah, whatever. Yep, I found these. Alright, so we got a box apparently that we're gonna give to somebody. And we probably don't need to do any more swimming, so I'm probably gonna swap her back out again. And. Yeah. Some in the field research? Albedo's weird, because he's not really human. I don't know. I didn't really quite fully understand what was going on with him during his event. Well, because I guess we did his event and his character story quest or something, but... They were both kind of... Because I think anything with the event was with the sword, and everything else was with him. <laughs> I picked these up from the sea, have a look. Came from the Jade Chamber, anything specific you could tell me? Uh, several documents. Uh, okay. So, oh, completed that. Now, I think we should get another quest. I think. Uh, let me double check here. Uh, I wonder if it's from the same... Might be from the same person. So let's go back to that area. <laughs> yep. So, let's see what this quest involves. Uh, is something wrong? Oh, uh, it's you. Do you still remember the affair with the Jade Chamber? Buy one came over. While it's impossible to finish the building it so quickly, there are some small matters that can be prepared beforehand. She gave me a checklist and told me to go through the items that I can easily get a hold of, but also that I needn't go out of my way to get them at all. Uh, you're really rebuilding the Jade Chamber? I heard Baiwan say that the schedule's already been sent out, but given how large that building is, I think it will take some time to rebuild it. Some small items at the moment. Okay. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to go talk to that person. Oh, they're all the way up there. All right. Uh, we'd like a copy of Meadow of Gems. They don't have it in stock. Hmm. While well, they're rebuilding the Jade Chamber. Hmm. Got it. Alright. So we have to go to Wangshu Inn. So Ganyu's quest was it was it was good. It was one I liked it. I mean I still think my favorite is probably Zhang Li's. Um I also really like Venti's as well, but Zhang Li's is definitely my favorite one with the God of Salt. <laughs> Oh, we have to go to the bottom. <laughs> uh, do you remember where I can find that book? Hmm. Oh, you can just write down a copy from memory? Well, that's seriously impressive work, the fact that he's got it memorized. No, he's hungry. He wants a triple layered consomme? I don't know if I have one of those, let's see. Give a serving of triple layer consomme. Okay, I gotta cook then, so let's go back up here. I don't even know if I have that, or the ingredients for that recipe. I'll have to check. Triple... Delicious triple layer consomme. 
Hmm. Oops, I didn't want to talk to you. I want to cook. Okay. Triple layer consomme. This thing. But he wants a delicious one. Here we go, and that's all we needed. Okay, confirm. Howdy. Please. Straight on. <laughs> Alright, here's your triple layered consomme. Okay. Alright, so we got the book that he already made from memory, which is kind of impressive. And then we need to go here. I wonder if we're going to that carpenter again. No, Master Lou. I don't know if that's him. Somebody. <laughs> Oh, it is. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'd like to order small bamboo or some small ornaments made of bamboo. The checklist of Bywins. Hmm. All right, leave it to me. So we need we need to clear some bores, I guess. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm really excited like the, if we can actually get the Jade Chamber back. <laughs> oh, it's hilly trolls. No. What? What boars? I don't even see any boars. Oh, I guess we're just constantly going upwards. Alright, let's report back to Master Lu. I guess that's all it was, we just had to chase them away. Alright, give us those ornaments. Okay, so now we have to report back to Bywin. I wonder if we'll see the, like, I'm, well, first, I'm assuming that we're actually making the Jade Chamber come back. But I wonder if we'll see it floating in the air again like we did at the start of uh, the 1.1 quest line. Until we smashed it into the water to destroy that god thingy. Uh, so both those preparations. Yep, we have a hand copy. And we're, so you're rebuilding the Jade Chamber, huh? Hmm. So that's complete. But I think that that's it. No Jade Chamber? Oh, that's disappointing. I figured that it would actually... bring back the Jade Chamber, but I guess not? Hmm, I guess that might be it then. That was just a quest line. Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. So I guess maybe it'll come back eventually, but just not yet, because there's still a lot they're preparing to make to bring it back. Well, but that was basically all that was in this, like, um, mid-patch update was Ganyu's story and just those little quests. So there is the event going on that has bugged out for me, which I'm really sad about. But um, it is what it is. I can't do 11 because 10 is bugged out on me, so... 
Every... What ends up happening is um, I go to the area and my little Sealy disappears uh, in the spots I need to get the... Um, so I can bring him out. But um, I can't find the last little treasure spots because what ends up happening is my little Sealy disappears when I start getting to the areas that are the last coins are in, which are like right over here, I believe. See? And my little Sealy is already gone. But the coins are, I think, are in this last chunk of space here, and I can't get it, unfortunately. So, probably an event that's just going to be left unfinished, unless they patch something to fix it, but it doesn't seem likely at this point. But, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that, and I guess until, probably won't be doing much until patch 1.3 is here. So, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time. Crumble! This is order!